Arbus.com. In this episode of Basic Climbing Techniques, I'm going to show you how to reposition your climbing system. This is a really useful technique and it's a great energy saver and a great time saver. Knowing how to reposition your climbing system uh, is an invaluable piece of knowledge to have, especially when you're working in big trees like big pruning or big removals. Um, so it just can save a lot of time, a lot of energy going up and down, up and down. Um, so I'm going to show you that technique. So first of all, it's, always about, it's all about forward planning. So if you know you're going to be working one side of the tree and then have to also work the other side of the tree, um, decide which side you're going to work first. So I'm going to work this side first, but I know I'm going to have to go over this side. And because you want a good anchor point the whole time, I need to first of all take quite a lot of slack and feed it through the fork that I want my anchor point going through overall. So we'll feed all that through there. Now pull a bit of it back through um, from what I'm going to need to work with this side. So now come down. And as I'm coming down the tree, I'll be working, sort of pruning this side. So I've pruned all the side of the tree and now it's time I need to go back over. So what I'm going to do is take my lanyard and make sure I'm nice and secure um, so I'm able to take my main climbing system up. So I'll take the main climbing system off and a lot of people now climb with the micro pulley to tend the slack. So if you're using a micro pulley, the first thing you need to do is tie a knot above the friction hitch which is going to prevent it from sliding up when you're pulling the tail. So, tie an alpine butterfly in the end of there, and then you know that the friction hitch cannot go past that. And then tighten up the hitch. Then, you're going to take the termination end of the climbing line. that which is going to make your friction hitch and your pulley go up the tree. Now once it gets above the fork that the end of your line is going through you then start pulling the tail of your rope and keep pulling, keep pulling Point. Now you can see I've got my whole climbing system back. I can now reconnect, take out the alpine butterfly, take off my lanyard. Now I'm able to work this side of the tree without having to climb all the way back up and come all the way back down the other side. So it's just a big energy saver and a big time saver. I'm just going to give you another demonstration of repositioning your climbing system. Um, 
from the climber's point of view. So like I say, it's all about planning, planning your climb, knowing where you're going to go um, after you've been pruning one side of the tree, knowing which forks you're going to drop through, um, and just knowing your route really. So I'm going to work this side of the tree first, and then I want my rope to be going through this fork and working that side of the tree second. So first thing to do is I'm going to drop all of the tail of my rope down through the fork of the tree that I want to work second. Like so. And then I'm going to work this side first. So I want to pull a bit of the tail back through so I can drop down and work this side. So pull some of that tail through and then we can start. So I'm going to descend down here. In a work situation I would sort of be pruning, working this side. And then as you need to you can pull some more tail through. So there we go. So I've worked this side of the tree and then I'll just pull myself back up and get in a position where I can reach the tail of my rope that's gone through the fork that I want to drop down through. So when you can get in a position where you're nice and comfortable, you can place your lanyard on. Just make sure not to trap your rope through the centre of your lanyard because that could be a problem um, once you're trying to reposition your system. So now I'm secure, I can take off my main climbing system and just to drop that down a little bit. And then the first thing you have to do is just tie that stopper knot above the friction hitch. Um, so I always like to use the Alpine Butterfly there because it's a, it's a really strong midline knot, easy to tie and just make sure that's not going to pull out. And basically that, all that is there for is once you're pulling the tail of the rope to pull the system back down, especially if you're using a micro pulley, that pulley will push the hitch up so you could lose it if you didn't have that stopper knot in, whereas if the knot's in it can only go that far. Once you've got your stopper knot in, the next part is to pull down on the termination end of the rope, which in turn will make your climbing system, like the friction hitch, and make that go up. And then once you get it above the point where the rope drops through the fork, can stop pulling down on the t on the termination end and then you'd start pulling down on the tail oh so you're pulling down on the tail of the rope and just pulls the system back down to you like so, so it's gone through the fork where would you would normally have had to climb up, waste some time, waste some energy. So once you get your system back down, you can take out that stopper knot. And then connect yourself back on, tension up, transfer your weight to your main climbing system back off the lanyard, disconnect, secure your lanyard back to your harness and there you go, you drop through the fork and you're ready to work the other side of the tree.